Okay. So we're still going to keep talking about we're still going to talk about solving logarithmic equations. Only we're going to make them a little bit more complicated, um, so we can kind of advance and, and just make sure that we get to where we can solve any logarithmic equation that we get to. Right? Remember from before. Right? Exponential equations. We want to make sure that our exponents, our exponent bases are the same. Right? So try to work number one. Take the second. Stop the video. Start it back up and see if you're right. And there you go. We had to flip the two, the one half over to make the exponent negative. So we had the same bases. And then set those bases equal to each other. After dropping the twos, and the x is equal to negative one. Same thing here. Stop the video, give it a shot, make sure you're on the right track. Did you get x equals three? I rewrote 16 and 64 as base 4 to a power. You may have done base 2, and that's okay. You should still get down to 3 for the answer. But 4 is a bit easier. 3, try that one. Stop the video, start it back up. Remember with the log equation right now, we have no choice but to rewrite in exponential form. So base stays base. We're being the t 2 over as the exponent. And the x on the other side of the equal sign, 3 squared is 9. One more. Okay. Rewrite x to the third equals 343, then just cube root both sides. Don't need a plus or minus because it's an odd root. We're okay right there. Okay. Now we're going to take our log equations and step it up a notch. This is what we need. Okay, remember with our logarithmic equations, we want to rewrite as in exponential form. The problem is, when we rewrite, we only know how to rewrite this part. In other words, the logarithm has to be by itself. So what we do is we have to get the logarithm by itself. And we do that by treating this like one big block. And what would we do if we were just solving for that block? Well, we'd have to get rid of the 5 first by subtracting. And then divide both sides by 2. Now we're down to a logarithm, then we can rewrite x squared equals 25, and then square root both sides. Remembering that we're supposed to plus or minus when we square root or even root in an equation, when we even root a variable specifically. But also remember that x is supposed to be the base of the logarithm, and we can't have a negative log base. So our actual only solution is x equals 5. We can't use negative 5. Okay? Bottom line is get the logarithm by itself, and then that allows us to solve by rewriting. Okay. Same thing here. We've got to add the 5. Then divide the 3. And then rewrite. Base stays base. The other two place with your root. So x equals 81. We're perfectly fine using 81. As the, as the argument for that logarithm. Okay? You give number seven a shot. Stop the video, work it, stop, and then start the video back up and see if you're right. Did you get five? <clears throat> Subtract the one, divide the four. And then rewrite is 25 to the 1 half power equals x. Square root of 25. You don't need the plus or minus because we didn't square root the x in order to solve. Okay, we just square root the 25. And the square root of 25 is 5. Okay. 
it doesn't get a whole lot more complicated than that. Go ahead and try 8. We'll see if there's anything worried about it. Did you get 100? Subtract the 9, divide the 5, rewrite, remembering that that log base is 10. If you don't see it, it's 10. Right? Okay? Now, here's something that's a little bit more complicated. We've got a logarithm on both sides. Well, remember with our exponential equations, our whole goal was to get the exponent bases to be the same. Then we can drop the exponent bases. Same thing with logarithms. Because they're basically exponents anyway, so they should follow the same rules. If our logarithms, if we have a logarithm on each side of the equation and they have the same base, the exact same logarithm, then we can just drop the logarithms and set the arguments equal to each other. Not real tough. Add the x, subtract the 1, divide the 8, and so x ends up being 1 eighth. Okay? So if you have a logarithm on both sides of the equal sign and they have the same base, you're allowed to just drop the logarithm. Okay? Same thing here with 10. Just drop the logarithms and solve the equation that's left. 3 minus 4x equals x over 3. If it were me, I'd multiply everything by 3 to clear that fraction. So we get x equals 9 minus 12x. Add the 12x to both sides. Divide by 13, x is 9 over 13. Okay? All right. One more for you to give a shot. should take just a couple seconds. Stop the video. Start it back up and make sure you're doing okay. So, drop the logarithms. x plus 9 equals 2x minus 7. Subtract the x, add the 7. x ends up being 16. And that's it. Okay. Hope that makes enough sense. Your homework's out in Canvas. Make sure you have that done next time. If you have any questions, come find me. We'll sit down and go over some more.